हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1005 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस बाय अरबिक एंड एन अरबिक मेथड एंड दिस टेक्निक Uh, is uh, widely used and these two different techniques uh, they are very effective for the biological treatment of uh, effluent and uh, sewage here if i say aerobic uh, method means that is in presence of oxygen air and the second one is anaerobic means in absence of oxygen and air and universally the most efficient and extensive uh treatment is done by aerobic that is in presence of oxygen and globally uh, this uh, uh, technique that is aerobic uh biological purification is very much uh, used and this anaerobic uh, treatment for the purification of effluent is done primarily before uh, going for aerobic means that if the concentration of lot of impurities effluents are more so if we are subjecting it to anaerobic uh, treatment means in absence of air it will reduce at least 20 to 40% impurities and that is uh, very very uh, encouraging and good to do the second a uh, biological treatment that is in presence of oxygen and air and here uh, some factors are very important once we are aiming for aerobic and anaerobic uh, biological purification of effluent and sewage one is temperature temperature should not be more than 35 to 40 degrees centigrade the ph ph should be around 5 plus minus and the oxygen bod and cod and also uh, what type of organic substances are present and their oxygen uh, demand and also some other minerals and salts like phosphorus calcium potassium so these are all very very important uh, effluents which are to be uh, cleared and clean and some are in this process of oxidation uh, damaged and decomposed and some microorganisms are also oxidized and that's why they are converted into non toxic substances and after that then only uh, we can ensure that uh, the purification is uh, done so these things i am going to give one by one so arabic arabic and anaerobic biological purification of effluents or industrial waste or we can say industrial effluents so first is aerobic biological method uh, the different techniques have been used in biological purification of sewage and effluents and these are aerobic means with oxygen of air or the oxygen which is present in air is used and the second one is that is anaerobic means here in absence of oxygen uh, the aerobic method is universal and is used for extensively and it ensures the maximum rate of uh, biological purification processes and the maximum effic efficiency of impurity uh, decontamination in general uh, aerobic purification 
provides a higher uh, processing rate and gives maximum uh, destruction and de decontamination of the pollutants. Actually, this purification, aerobic one, is very efficient and uh, very uh, effective in the sense that it gives maximum decomposition and destruction of lot of impurities, lot of uh, microorganisms because of the uh, presence of oxygen and it undergoes uh, oxidation uh, pollutants. And in the method of aerobic purification, the rate of oxidation and the efficiency of purification depend on the temperature that the temperature is very important factor it should not go more than 35 to 40 degree ph should be maintained around 5 plus minus intensity of agitation concentration of oxygen in water that is uh, bod cod uh, biological uh, oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand content of toxic impurities and biogenic elements and these biogenic elements are nitrogen and phosphorus degree of circulation of the activated sludge now this ne next one uh, that is an aerobic biological method uh, this method is used as preliminary step uh, before aerobic purification to lower the concentration of the organic impurities to the MTC that is maximum uh, temperature control. So before going for aerobic uh, method of biological uh, treatment or we can say that uh, to decompose or destroy the influence of sewage impurities First, we have to go for anaerobic means uh, it will uh, drastically reduce the or decompose the impurities and that is uh, to the MTC uh, 10 to 34 degrees into concentration in the first stage creates favorable conditions for the aerobic purification. So nowadays, uh, for this uh, aerobic and anaerobic uh, purification of effluents and organic waste, mainly the biofilters are used. And I have given here what is biofilter. Here, biofilter, I have just shown uh, some sketch diagram. This is biofilter. In the case of this biofilter here, one pipe is there with that pipe, it is for uh, feeding in effluents uh, packing and this effluent packing can be porous hard substances it can be stone it can be coke it can be sludge it can be plastic material where it is put and there water distributing channel is here from the top and here are here uh, permeable filter walls are uh, with concrete one is constructed and then this is supporting grid is here and after that purification, the water will come down and it is collected here that is discharging of purified uh, water. And this is your biofilter. And this biofilter nowadays is uh, extensively used globally. And this is very, very important method of uh, biological uh, method of purifying the effluents. Biochemical purification of industrial and municipal sewage waste is carried out at filtration uh, fields especially prepared land areas in biological oxidation uh, ponds are uh, carcade of man-made uh, basins biofilters and uh, aero tanks aero tanks the aerobic biological purification is best performed in agriculture, sprinkle, beds, uh, biological oxidation, 
pumps, biofilters, aviation tanks. The most extensively used and the most promising for the future developments are biofilters and aero tanks. And in these biofilters, what we are uh, having this feeding effluent, and here that uh, material which is uh, uh, filled, uh, it can uh, provide the platform, it will absorb the effluent, and then uh, micro agnus are attached with that, and they will be responsible of uh, oxidation and decomposition, decaying of all those uh, effluents. Biofilters and aeration at times. Biofilters. They are uh, perforated floor, uh, reinforced concrete restrict and contain micro uh, forming that is called biological film on the surface of the packing material. Uh, the packing of biofilter is made of a strong material which is porous such as slates, then crushed stones, coke, hydride and plastic blocks. The biological uh, films adsorbs and oxidizes the organic effluent in water. So with this, I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.